An historic milestone was completed in May 1966 at Kennedy Space Center, Florida, in the Apollo Saturn V program to land Americans on the moon by the end of this decade. The event started when the first stage of a facility's checkout vehicle arrived by ocean-going barge January 19, 1966. Once inside the vehicle assembly building, this rocket section measuring 138 feet long and 33 feet in diameter was lifted into a vertical position by overhead bridge type cranes. Slowly and gently the giant of the space age was lowered into place on the platform of a mobile launcher. Then secured to four hold down arms that support the entire vehicle during checkout operations. The 82 foot tall second stage which arrived at the spaceport March 5th, was moved from its checkout stand in the building and made it to the first stage. This section of the rocket weighs 80,000 pounds empty and over 1 million pounds loaded with fuel. The Apollo astronauts will be injected into Earth orbit by the Saturn V's third stage. This section will place itself, the instrument unit, and the spacecraft into an Earth parking orbit about 100 miles high, the first leg of the moon journey. Like the second stage, it will use liquid hydrogen, which provides 40% more thrust than the conventional kerosene-type fuel. The instrument unit, a huge ring more than 21 feet in diameter, houses the complex electronics, which guide and control the rocket during flight. The three-section payload, including a model Apollo spacecraft similar to those which will later carry men to the moon, was then placed atop the massive space booster. The uppermost section of the Apollo Saturn V, the launch escape system, was fastened to the command module or crew compartment. This emergency unit is designed to pull the Apollo spacecraft and its occupants to safety in the event of booster failure. Completely assembled, the checkout vehicle stands 365 feet high and is an exact duplicate of the actual Saturn V except that it has no engines. On May 25th, space agency officials and more than 500 invited guests attended a short ceremony which preceded the rollout of the Apollo Saturn V. A 3,000 ton transporter lifted the launcher and assembled rocket off its support pedestals and moved through the 456 foot high doors of the building. Thus began the slow trip to the launch pad more than three miles away. The test vehicle, designated the Apollo Saturn 500F, will never make the journey to the moon. It is, however, used to verify launch facilities, train launch crews, and develop test and checkout procedures at the Space Center. The first flight rocket will later make this trip. The transporter moved the Apollo Saturn V slowly towards the pad. The total weight of the rocket, mobile launcher, and transporter is 18 million pounds. This massive load moved over the specially constructed crawler way at speeds up to one mile per hour. The mammoth tracked vehicle, weighing almost six million pounds, performed perfectly during the historic test of the new mobile launch concept. Two diesel electric generators controlled from within the crawler provided the power to drive the enormous transporter. Halfway to the launch pad, the Apollo Saturn V passed the 402 foot tall mobile service structure, which is still under construction. When completed, it will be used by technicians to service the mighty rocket at the launch site. The most critical part of the trip was the five degree climb to the top of the launch pad. The transporter's hydraulic leveling system was put to a severe test in keeping the mobile launcher and rocket perfectly balanced as it moved up the slope. Upon reaching the top of the launch pad, 48 feet above sea level, the transporter gently lowered the massive cargo onto the pad's support pedestals. Thus, America's space program passed another major milestone as the Apollo Saturn V test vehicle completed its historic move. A three mile trip to the launch pad where man someday will begin his greatest adventure a journey to the moon.